So you've probably seen us talk about our VVAX MetroTech VLOC 3 Pro receiver, kind of our flagship locator. Today, we're gonna talk about the v VVAX MetroTech VLOC RTK Pro. The VLOC 3 RTK Pro is a electromagnetic locating device that has a fully integrated GNSS antenna. So you can locate your utilities and also map them at the same time. So traditionally, when you go and map your locate, you'd go and use your electromagnetic locator and locate the line, put your marking paint down, the second part of it would be to come back with a GPS antenna, put your latitude, longitude, put down your points where the marking paint is. With the RTK Pro by VVAX MetroTech, we can now do all that in one pass. So once you've started a locate or a survey on the RTK Pro, uh, the data gets sent to the cloud. So you're probably wondering what information is stored in the cloud. Um, well, we can see what survey you did. So we can name the survey a particular utility. So whether you're marking out gas, electric, sewer, water, et cetera, um, you can see what type of line you are locating. The other thing that you can, this unit records is the, the depth, the frequency that was used, and of course the latitude longitude for each pin drop. So the first thing we do is power the unit on. It's gonna ask us on this first screen if we're gonna start a new survey. Uh, basically, we're associating this particular locate with whatever type of utility we are locating. Like I said earlier, I'm hooked up to a gas line using a VVAX 10 watt transmitter. When I hit start new survey, it'll go to give me a list of all the different utilities I could be locating. And once again, this is a gas line. New survey started. So there's a few things that we're going to pay attention to on this screen. One of them is the 4G bars. This lets us know that we have connectivity with our SIM card, which allows us to transfer data to the cloud. And second, this pin drop. So if this pin drop is red, that means that I am in an RTK float. So I do not have the RTK GNSS accuracy if the pin drop is in red. Uh, secondly, we're going to pay attention to our battery, which is in our upper right hand corner. Okay. So we're about half full here. We got our antenna, which is our peak with arrows. Our depth shows up in the upper left-hand corner here. And we are in the classic locate screen. So once again, we're looking for our peak signal. So as I move left and right, we're trying to find our peak signal. Which is right about here. It's giving me a depth of two foot eight. Now, in order to make sure that I'm connected to the RTK correction service, which in this case I'm using SwiftNav, um, I wanna go into the menu and I wanna scroll down to GPS RTK source, hit enter. Um, I'm already connected to SwiftNav. Um, it's giving me a reference distance at seven miles, uh, seven and a quarter miles about, which is pretty good, okay? Um, and then, of course, it gives me the longitude, latitude of where I'm at, okay? So now that I know that I'm uh, attached to a, G a GPS RTK source, I can get out, start locating, now, in the event that I want to drop a pin, I want to get over my peak signal. I hit the I button. I hit log. And then we have a bubble that appears on the screen. And what we have to do is rotate the locator down so that white bubble gets into that center orange circle. At that point, I've captured a uh, I've, I've dropped a pin for this particular location. Thank you. 
So I've done four logs. I'll do one more. This footage down here in the lower right hand of the screen shows me the distance from my last pin drop that I put. So the last pin I dropped was 10 feet, five inches behind me. This unit also has multiple screens, just like the v -Lock Pro 3. So holding down this button, we have the SON screen, our offset screen, and back to classic. So we've taken some points, we've looked at the VM maps on the web portal for all the data we collected, and now I've set a walk back. So one point that I took earlier, I'm gonna show you how to walk back to a particular pin after reprogramming all that data back to the locator. So to get to the walk back, I've sent it from my computer from the office, and now I'm back out in the field. I go to the I button, I scroll down to walk back, hit enter, and I'm gonna scroll down to WV-1, that was the name for this particular walk back. And it's gonna take me to that pin, WB-1. When I hit enter, it's gonna show up. I'm going to walk. And I'm gonna match to where the X is in the center of the green circle. And this was the exact location of pin WB-1 that I took earlier in the day. And that's how you do a walk back. So now that we've collected some data using the RTK, it's time to go into the office to see the VM maps web portal and see what the data looks like on a computer. Okay, so now that I've uh, I've been out in the field, I took uh, I did a locate on a gas line. I dropped three points on this survey, and now I'm going to show you what those points look like in the cloud on VM Maps web portal. So all the surveys that have been done are time stamped, shows the user, and you know if your company owns multiple RTK locators, they're all tracked by the receiver's serial number. So if you have five of these units, uh, it knows what unit was doing what and where it was locating and what survey it did. So when I click on this one, this was the one with the gas line. I dropped three points, yellow for gas, of course. These pins are yellow. Um, if I was locating electric, I would have started the survey, marked it as electric, which would have turned the lines in the cloud red, blue water, purple, reclaimed, sewer green, etc. So these are the three points that I did. It shows the line and it actually shows each pin that I dropped. So when I go to scroll out a bit, okay, and then I can drop the satellite image over it. So it shows what it looks like with Google Maps satellite. Now each one of these pins has info attached to it and it shows the depth, the line depth, time and date, of course, the frequency, the lat long. I can take this data, I can make a report, I can print this out or save it as a PDF and send it off via email. But in the report, it gives a map and it shows all the info that I collected, all the points that I collected on that particular survey. You can also export files. So say you're working with a GIS team, um, using Esri, um, you can export the files using a CSV, KML, shape, or DXF. Shape files typical for Esri users. And you can just push these um, those pins as a shape file. They can be formatted for GIS. This is actually the old UI. We do have a new VM Maps UI. Looks the same, uh, screen's a little bit different shows the map in the right hand corner but it does give us this list of surveys that we did this is the one that we just did of course with the three pins shows all the info so in the event that we want to go back to a site and find a pin um, that we have already logged and it got sent to the cloud we can do something called the walk back. So in this particular situation, walk back allows us to take a pin or multiple pins and basically take them from the cloud and put them back into the locator. So we can walk back on site and the locator will take us back to that particular location, to that particular pin 
that we had dropped weeks or months prior. So in this case, what I'll do, I'll do one pin, I'll do pin one, and I will set a walk back. And it tells, we have to enter which locator we want it sent back to. In my company, I have like four or five demo units. So I have to specify which one that I want it, the pin to be sent to, the information for that pin to be sent to. So I'll check mark this one. So now our walk back is set. So when I go back out in the field and I turn the locator on, I will find this particular pin in the menu and it'll walk me back to that exact location. So we've early in the day, we took some pins on this gas line. We went back to the office, showed you VM maps on the cloud, showed you all the data on there. From there, I took a, a walk back and I created a walk back um, for one pin from the survey I did earlier today. And I'm gonna show you how to retrieve that information from the cloud back to the receiver and find that particular pin we're looking for. So we go to walk back in the menu, hit enter. WB1 was the name of the pin that I'm interested in walking back to. I am going to hit enter and as i walk with the unit there's an arrow that pops up on the screen and it's going to walk me to it and what i want to do is i want to line that red x up into the center of the green circle and it's exactly right there that's where that pin was i want to check mark it and now it's complete so if you like this type of content please hit like or subscribe to our channel leave us a comment we'll come back with more